All right, let's take a turn now to the weather and outside we go with a live look here at downtown Indianapolis. Uh, we are just a few minutes away from the beginning of spring. Does not feel like it, although the sun is out, which makes a big difference. No, yeah, the winter kept its grip for as long as possible. Struggled making it to, but it is 51 right now, Ashley. We spent much of the day in the 40s, so you're right, it was quite the struggle here. Um, as we look at March rainfall so far, we've done quite well with rain, and as you know, we did add just a little snow to the snowfall totals this weekend. Most of the snow that you had this weekend was more just kind of pesky than it was uh, kind of adding to those totals. As we look at rainfall so far, we're nearing the three-inch mark. Uh, we should be at around two and a half, so we're doing quite well, uh, two and a quarter, but we're doing quite well with rainfall, and there's a lot more to come over the next several days. Official high temperature at 51 for Indy today, Indiana. Uh, 51, but 50 for Bloomington, 40s for areas off to the north. This forecast has been incredibly cold over the weekend. So any improvement is welcomed, right? And the improvement that we see today, more sunshine and a wind direction that's coming out of the south for us, that south flow bringing us the 50s. 51 feels like 51. Winds out of the southwest at 18 miles per hour, remaining breezy to gusty, depending on your location. Speaking of gusts, um, these wind gusts are picking up right now. We're in the peak heating of the day or the warmest time of the day. And during that time, you see this winds at 25 to even 40 miles per hour, near 40 for Chicago in the south. Been incredibly gusty winds driving the forecast. Numbers in the 40s tonight falling to the 30s, so it will get colder. But this is typical weather. I mean, this is what March should feel like. 50s for daytime highs, 30s for overnight lows. We like it, but it's getting warmer. See, tomorrow's forecast. Tomorrow's forecast is a little tricky. There's a lot happening. It seems quiet to start, but even a little sunshine. But as we increase cloud cover all throughout the day, we're going to increase the temperature trend. By the lunch hour, you're at 46. At that point, I don't think you need an umbrella, but just know that the temperature trend is warming and winds are gusty. By the time we get to 5 p.m., we peak at around 55 degrees, and then the rain will begin to arrive. This is a slow-moving system. Models continue to slow it down. Right now, I see the chance for isolated showers on the western portion of the state by 6 p.m. The showers become widespread, reaching Indianapolis and the metro area at around 8.30, 9 o'clock. These showers move into South Bend by 10 o'clock. Heavier downpours are expected, but most of this is just moderate rain on your Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning. Wednesday will be a day with several rounds of rain. You'll have dry hours like your Wednesday morning commute, but once we get to Late morning, early afternoon on Wednesday, more rain moves in, this time bringing more in the way of heavier downpours in the system that kind of stays with us as we head into the afternoon hours. The temperature trend continues to warm. There's a warming trend, mid-50s on Tuesday, upper 50s on Wednesday, and yes, by Thursday, I think it's possible to see the 60s. That Thursday comes with a trade-off, right? There's a disturbance that will slide in and bring a better chance of rain our way. This is some heavier showers on Thursday. A little concerned about the chance of thunderstorms as well. So wet weather coming our way in the eight-day forecast. Look at this. We're taking you to the mid to upper 60s on Thursday. Seeing those, number, those numbers fall off as we head into the weekend, but keeping rain chances around.